This is a production of Cornell University. And it really is a pleasure to see you here this afternoon. I have some formal remarks, but I've decided that it's too beautiful a day to stick to a script. So I hope you're okay with, with my taking some, some, a little bit of freedom here to talk about this wonderful project that we're about to, to see unfurl uh, this afternoon. And the importance of the concept of being rooted. And, and, and how important that concept is, not only to our faculty and our staff, but certainly to our students, that they feel that, that they have a home here at, at Cornell and that they feel that all that has led them to come to be here at Cornell is part of being rooted, rooted in who they are and who they're going to be, and that Cornell plays an important role in that process of becoming who you are and who you are going to be. I just would like to thank Justin Conrad, whose wonderful genius it was, to, to create uh, this, this beautiful exhibit today, to Marcia Shirley, who makes it all possible, and, and to all of those in horticulture and beyond who have contributed to the, the unfurling of this beautiful exhibit here today. And now I'd like to turn the microphone over to Marvin Fritz, Chairman of Horticulture, to say a few words. So, Marvin. Thanks, I do have a few prepared parts. So here we stand at the intersection of art and science, a symbolic junction of apprehension and perseverance, where we display to the world a part of our collective character that many words cannot easily express, but which one word reveals. Before we contemplate the planning before us, let us take a moment to appreciate the rich, fertile soil that we have in this place. Not the literal soil under our feet, but the metaphorical soil that is Cornell University and the surrounding area. Soil is composed of minerals, organic matter, microorganisms, and water. The mineral elements of our metaphorical soil are the geological features of this region, with its hills, lakes, gorges, and waterfalls that surround us. The lush vegetation and the bountiful fruit, vegetables, dairy, and wildlife that we find here comprise the organic matter. The soil's moisture represents the sweat of our forebears who risked life and limbs to sustain themselves in this place and build an institution that is the envy of the world. And no living soil is complete without its biological component. 
Our living Cornell soil contains thousands of faculty and staff who care deeply about the success of students and work hard to make this place special. There is no better soil to sustain a vibrant community anywhere else in the world. And it's into this soil that we invite each of you to establish your roots. Sink them deeply into the medium that is provided to you for the taking. Drink the moisture that is contained in the soil, suck up the nutrients, and grow and develop into a beautiful flower that brightens the world and brings joy and pleasure to others. Like these flowers, each of us have different colors. Black, white, brown, Christian, Jewish, Muslim, Buddhist, gay and straight, young and old, rich and poor. And just as this display will be all the more, more beautiful from its diversity of colors and shapes, so too will this place be richer for those of us who dare sink our roots into the soil that we call Cornell. As we move through the coming weeks of exams, term papers, interviews, and possibly graduation, look upon rooted with the knowledge that whatever comes our way, we will not simply cope, but we will blossom. We are strong, we are rooted, we are Cornelli. Thank you, Bob. Um, I just wanted to thank everyone for coming today. Um, it's a great day. It's beautiful in Ithaca. And Rudy um, is here. And when I started working with Marsha this fall, um, we were thinking about something that we could do that would involve the whole campus community. Really, really mean the word of inclusive really bring collaboration because we have so many vast resources at Cornell and thinking and this is the, the child and I am so thankful for all the collaboration that we've had. My final experience was only two years. Um, I'll graduate this May, but I'm so thankful to be here with everyone and I can't wait for the student body to really engage with this exhibit and to see what their colors are and to continue our roots. So thanks everybody for coming. Um, it occurs to me we didn't introduce people to you. We had our Dean of Cal, Dean Moore, um, speaking first. Department of Horticulture Chair Marvin Quick spoke second. Justin Condrat, who's the uh, brains behind this operation, a graduating senior uh, spoke next, and I'm Marcia Eames Sheasley. I do just want to say a few words of thanks, but first I want to point out, if you're not aware of it, there are solar lights woven through the installation so that you'll be able to enjoy it at night. And in the day, it'll be colors of pale white and yellow, and at night, it'll be red and white. Um, just a few people to thank from the beginning. We've had so many people involved with this. Bill Miller provided bulb expertise. We had people that range from the LGBTQ community to the Department of Horticulture planting the 13,000 bulbs. Um, Justin was the, the uh, one who was the creative influence who got so excited and started talking about the clock tower and I really didn't believe that that could happen. I feel like it's sacred turf. I can't believe they let us do this and we're really grateful. We had the grounds department and uh, Gannett Health Services involved. Um, I always want to make sure that we thank the people who um, capture this forever. Craig Kramer, Jason Kosky are taking images that will allow us to enjoy this for always and not just for the two weeks that the installation will be in place. Um, and lastly, I think I've acknowledged everyone else. I really want to say, I mean this seriously, this could only happen at this university. Um, I think that other places wouldn't recognize the value of public art as a, um, a means to inspire and inform, not just to be pretty, but to have a message and to carry a message to the world. And it's an important one. And we're so grateful that our administration sees this as an important gesture and not just a pretty one. Um, without their support, we certainly wouldn't um, have the opportunity to play and express ourselves in this particular way. It's always tricky when you start thanking people. There's the danger of leaving someone out. I think I um, mentioned everybody. There have been a lot of people involved. So we thank you for coming. We hope you enjoy it. The grounds crew, the grounds department, um, the grounds department and the greenhouse staff um, helped us out a lot too. So thanks everybody. We hope you enjoy it as it continues to change over the next couple of weeks. 
Uh, we know that it will burn in. That means that the pots will exclude the light. And when we pull them up in two weeks, you'll still be able to see the pattern. And that'll be interesting. So thanks for coming out. And we hope you enjoy it. <laughs> oh, that's right. We have our, our formal yeah. ribbon setting. Come on, Marcia. No, you go on up there. You scamper on up there. You go find the scamper there. There you go. This has been a production of Cornell University, on the web at cornell.edu.